what not to do during the mortgage process. That's the topic of my next video. What not to do during the mortgage process so you are able to secure that loan once you find the perfect house. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you've been pre-approved for a mortgage. You think everything is a go. You do your research, you find that property that you've been looking for, and now the bank, you put in an offer naturally, you got accepted, and now the bank is going through the closing process or the approval process, and they wanna make sure you are still a good risk. Uh, originally, your pre-approval was just that. You seem to be a good credit risk, but now they're going to do all the due diligence to make sure you actually are before they lend you the money. Remember, banks are in business to make money. They want to make sure you are a good risk, and now they're going to be checking up on you. So things you should not do, keyword not do, to help you secure that loan. Number one, my name is Mark Schreier, and if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and give me one of these if you enjoy the content of the video. So number one, don't buy any large ticket items on credit. What do I mean by that? Don't go out and buy a boat. Don't go out and buy a camper, um, a car, anything that you're going to be financing. And I don't just mean financing on a credit card, financing on any private um, finance uh, institution like if you're going out to buy a new Honda don't use Honda financing don't finance anything so you think maybe I can pay cash well if your cash was in your bank account and they looked at that uh, for your pre-approval and all of a sudden forty thousand dollars is gone that could be a red flag the keyword is you want to avoid red flags you will be able to make this purchase and I'll share with you later in the video when would be the perfect time to make the purchases when you're buying a new house number two don't apply for any new credit. You get all these solicitations in the mail to get new credit cards, 0% interest, this, that, the other stuff. Hold off, do not buy it. Put it on the side and avoid the temptation. Remember, your goal is to close on this house. Number three, close any credit cards. You think less cards are better, but if you've been pre-approved on whatever you have, then that means things are going well. Don't change it. It might be okay if you close one or two credit cards, but remember, there's a certain way that the credit card, excuse me, that the finance companies and the underwriters for the bank are looking at your credit report. So why change it if it's not broken? And definitely uh, refer to your mortgage banker if you decide you need to do this for whatever reason. Don't do anything without their guidance so things go as smoothly as possible and you don't lose the house. Number four, apply for any new lines of credit of any type. Again, that would be credit cards. That would be trying to get some sort of loan. Don't do it. Hold off. Number five, quit your job. You've been pre-approved according to your current work situation. Don't change it. If a great job comes up and you need to take it now, again, talk to your loan officer, discuss it. If you decide this is the time I want to start working for myself and I'm going to be self-employed, big red flag for the credit industry, make sure you discuss it with your loan officer. You might want to hold off and I'll tell you when would be a good time to do that in a moment. Number six, cosign on anyone else's loan. If you have kids, you understand this, or a good friend, they're having trouble buying a car, and your credit is great, and if you sign off on their loan, red flag for you. Hold off, don't do it. Number seven, get married. Because if you do get married, all of a sudden you now take on all the credit history of the person you married. So if they have a good credit history, that could be a good thing, but immediately it's gonna be a red flag. If they have a lot of debt, you've inherited that debt and you changed your whole credit scenario, which could mean you might not be able to get that loan. So I'm not saying don't get married, I'm saying hold off. So when can you do all these things? I gave you seven, when can you do these seven things? After the loan closes. Once the loan closes, if you can afford to co-sign on somebody's loan if you can afford to buy a car, if you can afford that new furniture in your budget, the bank's out of the picture. So hold off on all of these seven things until you close on the loan 
and then you're good to go. I hope this information was helpful. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to check out a video that I made that will help you in the home searching process. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll see you on the next video. Oh, <laughs>